Hello, my name is Rachman Dunbar, and I'm right on time for summertime. <laughs> Hey, Missy Ah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I okay. relocated to Ghana, West Africa. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, what, I did. How long ago? Three years ago. Are you serious? Yes. So how is it? It's beautiful. And are you there with your family? Yes. Uh, brothers and sisters? Yes. How many siblings well, do you have? I have two siblings, two younger brothers. They love it. I love it too. So that's it. That's beautiful. I that's like to beautiful. know. If I'm I can. so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, huh? That's great. I like to know if I can ask you three questions. Three questions. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So my first question from an international audience that may not know who you are, yes. can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Rachman Dunbar. You may have seen me on shows. I'm an actor, writer, director, producer. You may have seen me on shows like uh, 911, Prison Break, uh, The Mentalist, things like that. All right. There you go. What are three lessons that you learned in order to get to where, you're, where you are in your career today? Um... Fast gets you nowhere fast. Uh, prioritize your spirit over everything because at the end of the day, it's the only thing that you'll really leave here with. And protect your health with love. All right. So, like I mentioned before, I live in the continent of Africa. Right. And Afrobeats is taking the music industry by storm. Absolutely. Do you see that Afrobeats is a form of bridging the gap? Uh, I, I, I know where the question is going, but I think that there are so many bridges that have filled in where we need it to fill in, but most people don't take the time to cross over that bridge. So this is another one. Yes, absolutely. But we have a lot and we have a lot of people that are not doing their job and doing the research that they need to do in order to walk across those bridges, get, get across those bridges. We need to. We have to. So let me ask you, yeah. how do you, how are you going to be able to cross those bridges, as you say? Is there any examples that you may be able to give my international audience to do so? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the first one would be, you know, for people in the United States, go take your Africa ancestry DNA, right? Um, once you find out what, what country you're from, immerse yourself into that country. Learn the cultures of that country. You know, I, I did that same very thing. I found out that I am Nigerian. I uh, found out that I'm Yoruba. Uh, it, I've been, you know, adopted into the Yoruba culture. I received my Nigerian name, which is Omobowale Adubare. And, uh, you know, I'm doing my part, right? And I'm teaching my kids as much as I possibly can. So, Nigeria and Ghana are basically cousins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, by any chance, do you know what day you were born on? I want to say Sunday. But I have, I have, when I'm looking at my birth certificate, I have wins, I'm seeing Wednesday. All so right. it could be a Wednesday. So if it's a Wednesday, we would name you and my tribe Kweku. Ah, I'll take it one more time. Kweku. Kweku. Yes. Okay, as long as you don't call me Kwe for short. <laughs> and since I want to say thank you for this interview, Medasi. Ah, Medasi. And if you want to say you're welcome or thank you back, Mesu Medasi. Mesu Medasi. Yes, you know. All right, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Wait a minute, you're supposed to say Mesu Medasi. Yeah, Mesu Medasi. Right. All right. Gotcha. You got it. Thank you so Good much. Good job. You too.